The day before my birthday in 99, I turned my truck over right underneath the Prudential building. I, um, it was a big UPS size truck. I worked for the gas, Boston Gas Company. And um, I jumped from my, my truck when it was rolling, slid about 200 yards on my left side, did a lot of damage to my left side, fell into a pit that was uncovered. When I got in my accident, I became a T6 paralyzed, which means from about the chest down. I have no feeling from the chest down. Feeling above, you know, the shoulders. I try to keep everything in good shape I can because I know I need my arms and my shoulders for the rest of my life or until they come out with a cure. It's very important to keep yourself loose. You always get tight sitting in a chair. I am standing up, yep. I'm in a machine that allows me to stand up. Good day for golf, man. Good day for golf. It's beautiful out there. The human was designed to be standing. When I stand up, I breathe better, I talk better, my back pain goes away, uh, my blood pressure is circulating through my whole body. This machine enables me to, I can hit a golf ball, but I can play catch with my kids. I can stand up and read a book or watch a show, watch the Patriots, I can do anything. Um, but I love to stand up as much as I can because I didn't do it for the first seven years or so. I'd only do it once in a while. People don't really treat me different when I'm standing up in this machine, but they go crazy on the golf course when they see me uh, playing, because I don't slow anybody down, and I'm, I really have a lot of fun, and, I, and I'm, I'm very competitive. In order for me to drive or hit any, with any distance, I have to, I use one hand. But I got a real nice swing, I hit about 150 yards straight down the middle. And when it comes to chipping and putting, that's when I can use the two hands. Disabled people want to have just as much fun exercising as everybody else, so uh, Nowadays, they've come out with a lot of technology. And I'm, I'm really happy to be able to live in this day and age where they have these nice machines. I bet people say some, really, some rude stuff and be insensitive. Um, it's because they're ignorant and they don't understand, you know? Uh, and I don't, you know, I have a great quote that he who you hate owns a piece of your soul. I don't hate these people. I get angry with them. But they just got to learn to um, adapt, to get, to, you know, they got to realize what it takes for somebody to get into a building or, you know, maybe we can't carry that coffee, you might want to carry the coffee. Or, you know, we may be a little bit slower in a certain line. But um, that's what I like to tell kids, is to just be as nice as you can to people with disabilities. All disabled people want to do is to do normal stuff. You know, uh, just have fun and laugh. And instead of saying, oh, what happened to you? You know, talk about what happened last week and have a lot of laughs. That's what I tell kids. It's just because somebody's um, disabled or handicapped, they just they want to do the same things that they, the kids want to do. When I look at life, I see all kinds of opportunities and all kinds of challenges. I had some bad times, but those were the worst times. Now I see good times ahead. Roll the one. 